Hello once again, I am Jim Ducar with T&D Howe Videos. Today we are going to be watching a voltage regulator changeout in the Arizona desert. Our participating utility is Arizona Public Service and this video is sponsored by Burns and McDonnell. Now the voltage regulator is the cylindrical white device at the top of this pole that the guy at the bucket is addressing. What a voltage regulator does is it controls line voltage in smaller corrective steps than with a capacitor. And in fact, the voltage regulator holds line voltage within predetermined limits and in that way assures proper operation of customer equipment. This regulator also allows for up to 2% efficiency increase on this line. And what you're seeing here is our line crew using a regulator neutral detector, an RND, to detect current on the line, make sure it's at neutral so they can do Down the work. Down to zero. And now that he's at yeah. zero, I'll let him tell you a little more about the switch itself. I'm gonna point right here. This is your bypass switch. And it slung into this position, which tied these two together on the top of this. Thus, bypassing the regulator. This is open now, so it's isolated from the top here. And next we're gonna see them install what is called a MAC, short for a mechanical jumper over this line that? so they keep the line energized right while they're doing the work. Tighten this jumper this will simply Give replace the traditional jumpers between the switch and the line. Yep. How's that? The reason you don't want to put this on with this switch closed in, because when the regulator is online, you'll get circulating current. So right now the regulators as you can see, is offline, so we don't have to worry about that. And now with that MAC right. or mechanical jumper in place, yep. they can go ahead and cut away Keep the away. traditional Still jumpers like from the switch up onto the line, because they will be replacing this switch as they replace the voltage regulator yep. to the right on the screen here. Okay. Cut yep. away both of the jumpers. Yes, sir. And then it's time to add some line blankets, protection. Cut away the jumpers to the bottom of the switch from the voltage regulator. Now hook up the switch to take it down. Swing, Kenny. And next, take that switch okay, off. we're good. Again, to be lowered to the ground. Come back slow. And... Hard Next, wired. they're going to go back. This is the voltage regulator, and they're so discovering that it's hardwired. So they're going to have to bring your, uh... the uh, old control box up. See them now. You see two men working. One is on the bottom of the pole, releasing that control box, and there he's pulling it up through the wires to get it free. And now you see that control box coming up. He's going to tie it to the voltage regulator to be taken down. Here we're bringing the boom up to attach to the voltage regulator and here they are disconnecting it from the pole again they've got it secured to the boom truck so as it breaks free from the pole they've got it uh, harnessed to the boom bring that down looking good and now we'll see it swing around on that boom and the old regulator will be taken away by truck and right next to it is the new voltage regulator which they're now going to hook up to that same boom and lift that up to the pole see the lineman here in the bucket guiding it into the pole and then you're going to see him set it on its new braces and as they set it in place, I'll let you listen to the conversation between the guys up in the bucket and the boom operator on the ground. Winch off! A little more! Oh, right there! And now we're going to see him tighten down that new voltage regulator onto the pole and then secure the controls from below onto the new voltage regulator. Next, they're going to lower the bucket and go back down to ground to pick up the new switch that is uh, being replaced also. You see that being lifted up with the boom here? It's too tight, man.
but they're actually going to encounter something of a problem here that's All too right. tight so they have to lower this switch on the pole and pay attention here something right happens here. you'll see at the end of this video that means we're going to jump now to where he's installing a communications antenna the switch has been installed you can see it up there but he's installing a communications antenna and then he's going to do the ground wires for the new voltage regulator and in fact here attaching the case ground to the system neutral and next install some clamp top insulators to the pole and those support the regulator leads you see him feeding those now through the clamp top insulators next he's going to tighten some torque bolts on these clamp top insulators they have to be tightened to between 75 and 85 pounds of torque and so what they do is tighten them until the eyes actually break off. Next you're going to see him strip the end of one of these jumpers and then make the connection into the lower plate of the switch here. Good view of that as he's connecting up to the switch. Next we will see the installation of a bird guard, a plastic protector, so the birds uh, don't damage the lines and vice versa. And speaking of birds, now we're going to go back up to the top of the pole and replace there, this uh, cross-shaped like raptor that. perch. And I'll let them tell you a little bit about it. This one right here is good for a pterodactyl or anything. You're going to like that. That's great. You like it? Yeah, it's kind of got that rustic look. Actually, the reason to replace this is the smaller curved surfaces are thought to be better for the birds to rest on. It's right in in Cave Creek, Arizona. So this is going to be your source straight up? Yep. Shorty, or this be a load? That's the way I see it. Okay. Feeding it in, Kenny. Let's see if we can go on right out there. Sure. Happy with that? Yeah, I think so. I'm going to pull this open, Kenny. I think we should. It's got to come open before you land it. Okay. That's that way, in the clear. That way you're bypassing the yep. regulator too. They're going to do their steps. So thought that was good and valuable to listen to the linemen talk about what they were doing up on the line. And next you're going to see them connect the regulator leads. And what he's holding here is called a power tap. And we're going to see that landed on the line in just a bit. All right. And next what they're actually doing is stripping away a small piece of the insulation around this wire so that they can get a regulator neutral detector Happy? in there later to check for voltage without having to go right to the voltage regulator itself. Perfect. Now they're going to land mm -hmm. the leads. So let's listen in. All right, we're going to land these. Okay. And like Kenny said, the bypass is closed. Okay. It's going to be hot so on both So it'll be hot on both sides. you got a lot of control, I'll land this in first when you're ready. Perfect. Go for it. Mine's in the clear. Yeah, I see it. Okay, coming on. Yep. You got her. Nice. Perfect. Come tight, bud. Nice jumper. All tight here. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna pull all Taking the jumper off. Landed. We're landed. We're landed. It's bypassed. I'm gonna pull one. the jumper. Pulling the jumper. Bypass is closed. Right. Coming off of the Mac. Coming off the mat. Coming off of the mat. And so you can see that here they are indeed coming off with that mac. Each side lifted up and out of the way. And the remaining task will be to simply close the bypass switch. Close the switch, which he's going to do here with a hot stick. And once that switch is closed, we have the connections between the line and the voltage regulator. The Mac is off, and with that, you have seen our TND How video on a voltage regulator changeout. Again, our participating utility was Arizona Public Service. This video was sponsored by Burns and McDonald. I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Thank you, as always, for watching.